Hello good guys, welcome back to my channel Let's Code with Kundan Kumar. In the previous video, I taught you how to install the Flutter on the Windows using the Android step, Android Studio step by step. So in this video, I'm going to guide you how to install virtual device in your Android Studio in order to you know run your applications on the different screen size as you want. So first and first, so let us understand first of all, you know, what is the Android device. So before that, first of all, we need to open Android Studio. So you can see having opened the Android Studio a bit a project that I had created using you know while devil uh, installing this Flutter on the Windows using Android Studio. So this is a project I have opened, okay, which is a ready-made code available control project. So I'm going to you know add the virtual device. So before adding the virtual device, you should know what is the virtual device. A virtual device in Android Studio is an emulation of a physical Android device. It allows developer to run and test their applications on their configuration and screen size without needing actual hardware. Virtual devices are managed using the Android virtual device which is a part of the Android studio. So we can say without having the physical device you know different kind of device with you you can use the virtual device with the different virtual device with the different screen to test your application on the different screen no need of having your physical device a different physical device with a different screen that's why so let's add it so we need to go to the menu bar in the menu bar you can find the tool in the tools you will look for the device manager or you will look for the abd manager okay abd manager or device manager so click over this device manager then the right hand side it will open you can see here right hand side device manager this one then you need to locate the plus symbol you can see this plus icon click over that icon they are asking create a virtual device create a virtual device click on that then they are asking you to select the hardware so first of all we need to check which category do you want you want a tablet you want phone you want a tablet you want a wear os you want desktop definitely we are going for the phone sir first of all so when you are going to the phone they are asking which kind of phone do you need so you can check the name of the phone available here okay make sure you have internet connected guys so here pixel 4 you can see play store it means when i choose the pixel 4 hardware it means the play store app is available in that device okay the size the screen size is diagonal is a 5.7 inch the resolution of that one is this one okay this resolution is very high not a problem let's click on the next this is a device we have selected once you click ne next, you can see the left hand side, the release name, because now you need to install, you need to choose the kind of Android you want in your device. You want Android 9, 10, 11, etc. So according to that, you are going to, you need to choose the Android type. So you can see we have different kind of Android here, release name. You can see the release name. R is there. Already have installed the R before, that is R which is android 11 you can see the target 11 at android 11 so like that you can queue pi or your different types of you know android you have a different type of api you have it so you can see if the this release name is not installed you need to click on this symbol you know so let me use some another one to show you i may use the latest one let me go and use this s okay i'm going to so i'm going to click on the plus so you can see what I have done. I have clicked on this download button. So this dialog box will open. Make sure you have internet connected. It is starting downloading. They are downloading the zip file. Once download is done, we'll click on the finish. I will see what next. So far only 20% is done. So far I've done 79%, 80%. Let's see what this 80% is saying, talking about. So we'll see. Let me pause my video. Now it's unzipping. You can see here after downloading, it's unzipping. Saying please wait until the requested action are completed. So let's see. Wait. Yeah, it's done. You can click on that. Click finish. Now you can see S release name is also you know included. Bef you know I have also included. This is the one. So click on this. Now click on next. Now they're asking your name. ADB name. If you want to change, you want to give some specific name of this virtual device, you can give it. Uh, if suppose you are maintaining a different kind of device, more than one virtual machine 
you know virtual device not virtual machine virtual devices on your uh, system it is good practice to give the name something like a, this is a for the uh, this size this is a for this size or this is some name like a etc so now let's go and seek some kind of another settings you know so they are asking a startup orientation it means they are saying a startup orientation it means when you launch this android uh, virtual device you want to open it as a landscape or a portrait so portrait is a, uh, recommended so i am let it be the settings portrait now let's go emulated performance let it be graphics now enable this device frame blah 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 so if you want to go say show advanced settings so i can click on advanced settings here you can see here they are talking about the camera if you want to launch this camera the front will be emulated i know what is the meaning of you can see here already and then back virtual scene virtual scene means if you want to use the back pack of cameras of your you know of your virtual device which one you want to use as a virtual scene or you can use as a webcam laptop or your computers you have some webcam i want to use that webcam as a back camera you can select it but i will use the virtual scene okay network allow them to use the full speed that's a good practice now quick boot you know you have a cold boot you have a quick quick boot you know you know quick boot start from the state that was saved when the device last exited so what happens quick quick boot is a recommended because when you relaunch this uh, virtual device the next time it will be open faster because it will start from where it was saved you know that is what they are trying to say so let's go then down memory if you want to change the memory internal storage if you want to reduce you know because you actually you are creating a virtual device which is a, a similar to your physical telephone you know so they are telling the internal storage if you want to change the storage you can change but as per basic learning no need to change much here okay blah 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 etc so you can give it guys these are the things you need to check here if you want otherwise basic requirement you can leave the bit default one so let's click on finish when i click on finish you will see my this is ready this pixel 4 api 31 is ready you know this is the s you can see the s here this is the the release name i was using which is android 12 if you want to open this virtual device just click on this play button to see how it looks so it's, it may open starting avd android virtual you know device checking connecting to the emulator yeah, it's launching. You can see the device, virtual device is launches, it's booting up. Since it is a first time, in the first time it may take time, you know, because they are trying to, you know, install and load all kind of application component on this virtual device. So meanwhile, I can tell you this virtual device, if you have, you know, installed your VS code and you have installed Android Studio and also the virtual device. And if you want to use only VS code, not Android Studio, still you can access this virtual device guys using the vs code in the upcoming video i will demonstrate how to access the android emulator or virtual device from the vs code but make sure you have to install this virtual device in your machine then only it can be accessed using the vs, VS code as well just to test your code now you can see your virtual device is ready your play store also there you can click on home so guys you have learned how to install the virtual device in your android studio the same virtual device can be accessing the vs code i it will be seeing in the upcoming video so please if you are new to my channel you have not yet subscribed my channel and you like my videos and content please you do subscribe my channel share like and comments may god bless you thank you see you in the next video bye bye